I, well, I'll say something in here I didn't say out there because I think it's important and relevant. Um, I, when my first, when my son Hatcher was born in um, 2019, I removed all my social media from my phone. So I don't do social media anymore and I'm a happier person because of it. Um, not that it's bad, social media is not bad, but for me, I didn't use it particularly well because I would always read comments. Um, and and I, I wanted to use it as a way to be interactive, um, but it just, it wasn't healthy for me. Um, so I removed it all. So I don't know specifically what is being said, um, you know, about me, about the PGA Tour, about uh, our sport in general, but I know the direction that it has been going for the last, last couple years. And when I was outside, I was, I was compelled to say this. Um, I feel like this win, this win is, you know, first and foremost, it is it's for me. It's for my family. Um, it's for my caddy. It's for my team of people who support me. Um, but on a larger scale, it's also... It's for Tampa, it's for the Copperheads, it's for Valspar, and it's for all the events on the PGA Tour who find themselves in this new ecosystem kind of wondering where they fit and if they matter. Um, because I wanted, I said this out there because I wanted the Copperheads and the people of Tampa and the people from Valspar to know that there are thousands of Peter Malnati's out there who are 10 years old right now, teenagers right now, who dream of playing golf on the PGA Tour. And they want to have the moment that I just got to have. And if we don't have, you know, communities that believe in what the PGA Tour does and sponsors who support what the PGA Tour does, we don't have those moments. Um, and, you know, I know that the narrative turns a lot to, you know, coming up to Augusta, you know, we're preparing for the majors, we're in that season, and there, in terms of the actual people who participate in golf at the highest level, 90% of us dream of the moment that I just had. There's a 10% that really do probably gear their schedules and focus on the majors, but 90% of the people who have, you know, made it to the top level of professional golf, and 100% of the people who dream of being at the top level of professional golf, live for that moment that I just had. And it's amazing. I'm proud of myself. I did a lot of hard work. I'm proud of my family. They supported me. But it doesn't matter. All that hard work and everything, we don't have tournaments to plan if we don't have communities that think these tournaments matter. And if we don't have host organizations like the Copperheads and, you know, several other amazing host organizations around the country, um, we don't have a PGA Tour. And so I just, this win is for, for all the host organizations, all the title sponsors, all the communities that kind of wonder, you know, what the meaning of their event is. Like, it's, it, it's to have entertainment come to your community, fulfill dreams for people like me, give the community something to be excited about in a way that gives back and enriches the community where we play. And, I think this tournament is a shining example of that, um, and I'm just really, um, I couldn't be more proud and more honored to win, to win here, to win an event like this. And, you know, this is, stands out, it's special, it's amazing, but I just want, you know, all the events out there, like, I just want them to know that, like, all, every PGA Tour event, every Corn Ferry Tour event, every event on PGA Tour Americas, matters because it matters to the community where you play and we're going to make a difference um and so anyway i just I, that that was something i felt like i needed to say out there and uh, i'm glad i'm glad i was able to